What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Kerwit. You guys know old Chorwit from the chat? He was like, I'm going to send you some food, and it's going to be delivered in person. What's up, Jose? So. This is... Thank you. Jay Moreno PR is my friend from uh, Seattle. I think I... Have I... He may have popped in onto a stream one time okay. and donated uh, money to you. Badger, what up? Welcome back, my dude. 29 months? That feels low, actually. What up, Badger? I feel like it's been more than 29 months, but maybe that's just crazy. <laughs> They're suggesting that in the future you shouldn't draft any fixing lands because it seems to work out better for you when you have uh, just basics. Yeah, I agree. That's a good point. Badger, are you also retired now? Thanks. Maybe him and Thanos can uh, start up a business of some sort. <laughs> 29 months seems quick when someone has donated over a thousand subs. Uh, Snarky, what up? Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, Badger's going back to school, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Colagon's command seems nice. What is Defense of the Heart? If any rep keeping an opponent controls three or more creatures, you sack this, search library for up to two creatures, put them on the battlefield. That seems decent. I mean, I kind of want to play around that. I kind of want to build around that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Stew it. Badger, what are you studying? Buttholes. She's a proctologist? <laughs> Touche. Touche. Kerwit sent me nugs. He's a hero among men. It's true. Japanese studies. Wow. Oh, sweet. You guys would have a, a ridiculous amount in common. <laughs> you literally missed the Japanese question part of the stream. Yeah, they were like throwing stuff out and I was trying to say it in Japanese. Gitrog monster. Ooh, the Gitrog. Hey, look, it's got a, a like an arm or a leg in there. Maybe the uh, it's got an arm or a leg in there. Maybe that thing you found earlier was uh, fell victim to the Gitrog monster. Oh Jesus! We found a we found a squirrel. I'm gonna just take Gitrog. This guy Dude, seems too good. One with nothing is back again. This is the second foil one with nothing, isn't it? Oh, it's so bad. Wasn't the other one foil? Uh, no, I don't think it was. No. Oh. oh, I like Abzan charm. We could just be Abzan. That's just a nice. Oh, I like Aranda Femeron too, and then we're Sultai. So, Badger, is your your thing is like history and literature and really language, good. or just straight language? Can you say subscribe to the channel? I don't know what the verb for subscribe is. We can look it up. Okay. Let's see what the word for subscribe is. Was there a curse in that in that pack? I must have not even seen it. Moshikomu. I think we're just taking Snapping Silver back. Interesting. Okay, so subscribe to the channel should be something like ano channel ni ano moshikomu onegaishimasu. Huh. Destroy an all-black creature, create two O ones. Yeah, this card's great. Plus, we get to stick to just black green right now. So I don't like Harmonic Silver just because um, it's not a May ability. So if we have like our own defense of the heart out and you, you just can't place harmonic sliver. I thought that there was some like card that got printed recently that made one with nothing. Like there was something you could actually do with one with nothing. I can't remember what it is though. Uh, usually it's lose, I think. Yeah, probably. Is your phone fully charged? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this thing is sweet. I bought one of these for my desk. It's a... Uh... I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't think so. I guess I could just pull it out, right? Sure. It's one USB cord, but it has like a micro USB, a USB C, and a lightning on the end. And so, like, I could just plug one thing in and charge like my keyboard, my mouse, and my phone. Oh man, we should play Form of the Dragon. <laughs> that card is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I agree. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to go into no, 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 another no. color. Whenever this... Yeah, this guy's great, though. 2-2 two, two for, for 3 that just gains you 2 every time a land comes into play. T 
Temple of the False God. Choose a color. That the could be good. Colors, you add one more of the chosen color. The problem is it's six, so like you're not gonna. I'm just gonna take the Grazing Glade Heart. This guy's just easier. Cool. Oh, Arbor Elf. Oh yeah. It's like we're it's like we're playing. You, you don't want to you don't want to give a creature fear till end of turn. You know, maybe I do. Not want to do that. Hmm. Hmm. Temple is a trap, and I actually made the like I forgot what it did. And I'm so used to, like, all lands just tapping for mana that, like, I played a temple, and I tried to tap it for mana, and I was like, oh, it doesn't even add, like, one colorless before turn, like, five. So it doesn't, if you don't have five lands, it doesn't do anything. It's very weird. What is uh, Celestial done? It's an old school Mirage card. Non-land permanents you control are white. The same is true for spells you control and non-land cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. You may spend white mana as though it was mana of any color. You may spend other mana as though it were colorless mana. Uh -huh. It's very weird. Search your library for a land card put on the battlefield. Each opponent may search for a land card and put on the battlefield. For each opponent who searches, search your library for a land and put on the battlefield. So they get one, you get two, basically. I'm going to take right because it just kills a creature. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Kind of expensive, but... Gladeheart's not... I mean, Gladeheart and Gitrog Monster make me want to play like 18 lands. So we always have lands to sack and replay. Ooh, look at that. You can use Wirewood Lodge to uh, untap your Arbor Elf and then untap another land. That's kind of next level, man. That's super meta. Claim, return creature with permanent two or less. I think we're just taking generic 4-3 four, for 4. Sounds good. It's not exciting, but that's okay. Kiora's Dam Breaker, huh? Is there literally nothing in the colors we have already? Literally nothing, yeah. Whatever, I'll take the six six drop whale. You didn't want to have the one? Oh, look, we can take one with nothing. God damn it, every time. That's in our color. Shaper Parasite is in our colors. It's a morph. Oh, yeah. Play it as a two. Well, as a two, two. Turn one, win with one with nothing. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at this. Jesus. This is too much. No one's ever done this in the history of magic. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you have to be on the draw too, because it's eight cards. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in your hand. These eight cards have to be in your opening hand. So you go one with nothing, discard three root walls, discard dread, anger, and trench gorger. Your land has to be a mountain for anger, but also a black for one with nothing. So it literally has to be Badlands or Blood Crypt. Uh, you sack the Root Wallace to Dread Return the Trench Gorger. You may search your library for any number of land cards, exile them, then shuffle your library. If you do, its power and toughness each become equal to the number of cards exiled this way. <sighs> Abzan Charm and Arant Ephemeron came back? Mm. That's insane. This card is a... This card's a bomb. I'll suspend for it, yeah. We, uh, get some blue mana. Sure. This guy's actually humongous. A 6-9 Trampler for, for 6 is really, really big. Maybe we can get one of those cards that allows us to assign damage based on toughness. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take Temple here. It's a trap. It is a trap. It sucks. It sucks. I mean, then we can still, like, we have two blue cards, so whatever. Maybe they're playable. Hopefully we can get some fixing lands that don't really exist. Oh, crew fix! No maximum hand size. I like that. Phyrexian Arena. 3-3. Three, three. We've got Surge. Surge. Surge pricing. It just got more expensive. You all saw it. Jund Hollow. That's true. Surge pricing is more expensive, isn't it? I like Jungle Hollow. I also think just Crew Fix is really good. Mm. I mean, if we're splashing for blue, I'm just going to take the Crew Fix. It's a god, right? Like, 
I mean, we get to save our unspent mana. People couldn't deal with this guy in, like, Gods in Modern Q. What can they do about it in Mystery Booster? They can lose. That's what they can do. That's what they can do. You can pack up your shit and go home. Let the Jawar Isle wheel and have a surge for tomorrow. <laughs> it's not even... It's not even funny. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Wow, look, it's a dual land. I feel like... Where? Oh, it is. Too bad it's not in any of our colors, but that's... Well, I guess it's in one of our colors. I like Sandworm. Grixis Slave Driver is also nice. When it leaves Battlefield, it'll create a 2-2. Two -two. Sandworm seems good. Sandworm seems nice, like, especially because you can cycle it. That's fixing. I mean, I do consider cycling kind of fixing. Like, it definitely lets you dig for lands that you might not have. Doom Gape. 10 10 Trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, sack a creature. You gain life field of that creature's toughness. Mm -hmm. Seven mana, huh? Kind of just want a wild mongrel. Actually, I like Frixian Rager a lot. I don't think we're a wild mongrel deck, but Rager is just a fine dude. Dude, Braid of Fire. Ooh, Mana War, though. Stop it. That's not a card, dude. <laughs> I think it's just Mana War. Braid of Fire is definitely in my demographic. You know, that doesn't surprise me. Where does Kerwin go when he dies? I'm gonna have an angel cry. You know what, Chatter of the Squirrel? <laughs> no, I want good cards. <laughs> Braid of Fire works with... It does, doesn't it? If, if you would lose unspent mana, it becomes colorless. Wow, that's a combo. Add one colorless mana. Add two, three, four, five, six, seven. It just keeps going. And then eventually you're like, all right, I'll. Burn and then eventually your face. you pat you cast your greater sandworm. Oh yeah, and then you lose all your mana. I think we should take the archetype of endurance. And then maybe it's hexproof, right? Creatures you can roll with hexproof. Creatures your opponent control lose hexproof. I actually don't hate this, especially with Corsair of Crufix or <laughs> Crufix. Crufix itself, I guess. Crufix of Corsair of Crufix. Crufix of Corsair. Oh god damn it! This is so hard to say. This format's already appealing to me because it's just doing ridiculous shit. Dude, if that braid of fire wheels, you gotta take it. Just for the memes? Yeah. Okay. Corsair of Kerwit? Kerwit of Crufix? What would Corsair of Kerwit do? It would probably take a nap. Ooh, Animar. Oh man, I wish Animar was Sultai. Oh, that was literally me. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Kerwit's phone lit up and I was like, oh, it's because I sent a message to the group chat. Um, larger than life. Hmm? Probably just fine. Oh, it's a sorcery though, so it's trash. I'll take the thrumming bird. We got quite a few cards that are like proliferating, although nothing to proliferate onto yet. This card is bananas. See, that would that would get one one counters. You could proliferate onto. It's true. You're right. What if we go defense of the heart? Get Arc archetype of endurance and like. Greater Sandworm. Like, that's just a win, right? Mm -hmm. Also, I guess Defense of the Heart really makes it so you do want big fat idiots. See, I feel like Corsair of Kerwit would come into battle and you have to sacrifice two food tokens or it, uh, it leaves. That's that's a good deal. Do it. See, now we got... We still have another pack left? Oh, this is going to be bananas. I think our deck looks sweet so far. Oh, Colony Heart Expedition is nice. You don't want not of this world? I don't. I don't. I want the card that gives me... Oh, uh, they're right. You could proliferate onto Braids of Fire. <laughs> oh my god, you could actually, yeah. Boy, that's wild. What up, Austin Acid? Dude, I really hope Braids of Fire comes around. I don't. <laughs> Come on, Braids of Fire. This is no guarantee I'm going to play it. Because oh, we're not even red, man. Oh, you're going to play it. What? You're going to play it. It's going to be great. I'll never do that. 
single-handedly win the top eight pro tour. The top eight pro tour? Yeah. What are you saying right now? Look at this red, 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 red. I'll take the green card, I guess. Yeah, so I've only been on like one or two streams before. Yeah, Kurt was on one we did with uh, with Skype. Dude, Gorilla Tactics? I remember when that came out. And, was it like Fallen Empires? No, it was Alliances. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they were like, wow, this card's so good. They're going to make it this card. Dude, I joined Magic at like the worst time. Like, I hit right at the end of the dark. And so like I got maybe a couple packs of the dark and then went into like Fallen Empires and Alliances and stuff. I'm like switching between drinks here. Yeah, that's a bad time because like... Uh, that's funny that if like that people stuck... With magic, if they start... Oh, fine. Take it. No. This is so much better for our deck. The memes. Do it for the memes. I don't care about the memes as much. No. <laughs> it's not a good sideboard card that kills a flyer. <laughs> oh, man. I found a Japanese 2016 Entropic Uprising at my Walmart for 50 bucks. What is that? Entropic? Is that a commander deck? You lost 17 viewers with that thing. <laughs> it's probably accurate. I'm sorry, guys. Boo urns. Maybe it'll come back. I was saying boo urns. It's weird that they have the Japanese ones at the Walmart. Yeah, like, I'm really confused by that. Like, why? what would even compel them to order those? Maybe they just ordered the wrong one. I'm getting ads for Rolexes on my Facebook feed now. That's because Frank's a baller. No, I just I like what. Oh, Sultai Charm. Hey, bro. Oh. Memory. Do we do we have any we have any elves? Yeah, it makes them for you. But do we have any other elves? Yeah, we got this one. No, that one's not one doesn't count. This guy's also good. There's out of it turn a tap creature to turn his hand. What does Sultai Charm do? It's actually pretty good. Destroy a monocolored creature, destroy an artifact or enchantment, or draw two and then discard. I feel like we should take that. It's very good. But it also has a high likelihood of tabling because I someone has to be in all three colors. That's true. I think it's actually perfect or Surakar. Let's risk it for the biscuit. I think it's perfect. Sorry, sorry, Badger. We're hoping they come back, but... I oh, wait, we did no, take the, the elf, elf one. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. Ooh, Demonic Tutor. Wow, that's insane. What is that doing in here? And why is it still in there? Right, well, I guess it's only... It's pick two. So the other person had to not be black. Uh, I think you'd take it anyway. I mean, I'm still just taking it. Demonic Tutor, for sure. Dude, that that Maelstrom Nexus would have been fun, though. Thracios. See, I don't even know these commander names. But as soon as you say that, I'm like, oh, it's just a legendary creature from from that set. Oh, Kothis. Tyrant of Jund. Oh my god, look, it's the Dog Ancient Grudge. That's adorable. Take it. <laughs> I like Seagate Oracle. I also like Agony Warp. Seems very Ooh, Agony good. Warp is a good card. God, I really want some fixing though. Pan Glacial Worm nine five. When you're searching a library, you may cast this from your library. So if we can, we can go like Colony Heart Expedition. Search for two lands. That's so weird. Cast Pan Glacial Worm. I've never seen that a bit like effect. Before. Oh yeah, it's a weirdo. It's a weirdo for sure. Does it go on the stack? Like, what? Does it, like, just interrupt the thing you're doing? That is weird, right? Mo Myogen of Life's Web. 8-8 eight, eight for, for 9. Uh, if, it, if you cast them from your hand, you get the Divinity Counter, which means it's indestructible. Remove a counter. Put any number of creatures from your hand onto the battlefield. It is an 8-8. Eight, eight. I kind of like Anox Survivalist. What is his uh, morph ability? Uh, destroy an artifact or enchantment. Do we have much of that? We do have... Oh! We can take care of X Torch. Think how good this would have been with Braid. Yeah, that would have been that would have been fantastic. So good. Also, Noxious Dragon is just an abrupt decay when it dies. Aethercast Knight could be good. Exalted. I, I feel like we just take the blackout. To be honest with you, sounds good. What are we taking? Aethercast Knight. <laughs> We're literally just fucking take the two drop, the white blue two drop. Sometimes I can't with you. Katie's off at five. Oh, that's great. No, wait. I didn't look. I was oh. asking a question. Oh, okay. Oh, 
we got here? Helix Pinnacle. Dude. I'm, th I'm thinking about it. I hear you. With the... Uh, I kind of like this guy, though. With our proliferate guys. Oral, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. What's this? Dude, that thing with braid of fire? That's kind of ridiculous, actually. Oh, you can also proliferate onto this. I'm kind of tempted to just take it. Just do it. For the memes. For the memes. What if we win with a Helix Pinnacle? For the memes. It's got, it's got indestructible, right? It's, it's got, got shroud. shroud. It's pretty much the That's, same thing. Yeah. Wargate. Yeah, I don't care about that. Chimney Imp. Why is that in here? Overgrown Armasaur. I like this guy a lot. Whenever he gets targeted, or whenever he's dealt damage, you make a 1-1. One, one. Destroy an artifact or an enchantment, and up to one other. Yeah, we're just taking the... I, I, I'm actually tempted to cut blue. We have no real fixing other than Colony Heart. What do we got in blue? Bounding Crasses. No, I don't care about that. No, I don't care about that. No, I don't care about that. None of these cards are any good. Yeah. All the good cards ran out with Braids of Fire. It's true. That was where it all went downhill. So the only card we'd actually lose for blue that's any good is Agony Warp. And Crufix, I think. Man, Crufix is not even that great. You could splash for Crufix. I don't think it's worth it, though. Like, you're only saving mana because it's rarely going to be a, an active god. Short Sword good here? No, well, I think it's fine. I don't smaller think creatures. It's not super exciting. <gasps> How many spells do we have? Would there any like anything good even happen with Maelstrom Nexus? Well, all cards are spells in Magic. Oh, I guess that's true. I, I get that confused too because in Hearthstone, a spell is a spell and a minion's a minion. But in Magic, everything is a spell until it resolves. Dude, we could play Pickles. We don't have Shapeshifter. Everybody likes Pickles. Do they actually have different bands of Sir Strumming? Oh, yeah, I like 3-3 three, three for 3. Also, Mana War is good. Rant of Femeron is good. Dang. I mean, if you're going to leave those, then you should bring back uh, Crew Fix. Oh, your other cast knight came back, brah. Boom. That's quite the curve we've got. You, you like this? It's almost a straight line. <laughs> um. Ooh, I don't even know what that does. It's like literally three and X. You search your library for a permanent with converted mana cost extra X put on the battlefield. So for seven mana, you can search your library for a four drop put on the battlefield. Boo. Earns. This has to have a hundred counters on it. There's seven brands of surf drumming. How do you, what, what, like what differentiates them? Are they like different levels of rotten? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. Each number of creature cards in your graveyard. Meh. You should invent like a surf drumming that has like sauerkraut in it. Or kimchi. <laughs> Why? Because those are both rotten too. Oh god. Are they rotten or are they pickled? No, I think they've gone bad. I think they've gone bad. <laughs> What's my favorite deck? So, when I was younger, I used to play like a straight up burn counter deck that was all lightning bolts and like 
counter spells. But that was way back in the day. And I really didn't, like, follow strict tournament rules because I used to play four soul rings. And let me tell you, when you got four soul rings in your deck, crazy things can happen. You know, it's even worse when everyone has four soul rings in their deck. Yeah. That's messed up. Uh, Boros Reckoner deck's pretty fun. I also want to play 18 lands. I made this weird Boros Reckoner deck. There's, like, this green enchantment where, like, whenever one of your creatures takes damage, it gets a plus one, plus one counter on it. So you put that out with, like, Boros Reckoner, and then you gut shot it, and you keep, like, retargeting itself. So, like, what you would do is you would attack, and if they don't block it, because, like, they're like, oh, it's going to kill one of my other creatures. And the second they don't block it, then you start, like, hitting it with the gut shot and, like, pump it up to, like, 100 and then kill them. It works really well the first time because they no one sees it coming. But then after that, they know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, you know how it goes. Sir Strumming Banana Splits planet anymore is is the is the ice cream and the banana also rotten i'm just gonna play this this is fine i think three five nine no crew fix no i don't think he's good enough he doesn't do anything for a deck hmm. like the only ability like literally so as long as your devotion to green and blue is less than seven, it's not going to be. Yeah. Uh, you have no maximum hand size. I don't think that's ever going to be relevant. So the only part that's good is the unspent mana part. And I don't think playing five, like five mana card that just says, you know, your unspent mana gets you, saved. You cut the helix pinnacle? I never had it in here. So no, technically I did not cut it. I did play 18 lands though, because I, I don't want to miss land drops in this deck. <sighs> no helix pinnacle. No braids of fire. It's like you don't even want to have fun. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's actually ever made sardine ice cream. God. Why why does this conversation go this way? Or is it ice cream made by sardines? It's like Cape got custom shoes. <laughs> I think they're just regular shoes. Flies in the vessel, we are. Dude, did you not get that uh, tracking app yet? Yeah, I did actually. Spotify actually notified me, notified me today. They were like, you got a package coming on such and such date. And I was like, cool. You mean shop? Whatever. What's, what did I say? Spotify. I meant Shopify. I get Spotify and Shopify confused. Shop. So one of my friends works for Shopify. And I told them they should put like the line through the O. So it's like shop. Like it's Danish or something? Yeah. He said he'd uh, he'd bring it up in a meeting. Wouldn't that be like Shopify? I don't know. Okay, I, I feel like this is a really ill thought out plan on your part. <laughs> Do this, make this change. I don't know how it's going to impact things, and I don't. Know. I got a case that's going to come tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the cell phone cases that you can put like two cards in it. Oh, cool. Because like I only really need like two cards in my wallet, like one credit card and like one my my ID. So if I can just not carry my wallet around, I'm like, that's kind of cool. So those, those kind of cases used to be super super popular in Japan because they would put their uh, NFC train card in there. And when they were going through the train thing, they would just like tap their phone on there and go. Yeah, through. that seems like a good idea. But uh, most phones in Japan now have NFC chips in them. And so you can just use your phone directly. Right. That's what I mean. Like, I also have two of my cards on my phone. Right. So I yeah. can just use that. Yeah. Like, I still have my uh, my Japanese train card in my phone. Was in the Vaseline we are. Who is this? Snow Temple Pilots? Beats me. So yeah, there's, there's my Japanese Suica card. Suica. Did our opponent go to five? Wow, that makes me feel good. They're going to lose. I mean, I feel like our hand's fine. We just If we can draw a two drop or a four drop. Don't tempt me, but what did John say? I can and I will. John, what are you working on next? I'm looking at buying some more vinyls. Any recommendations? I like metal, punk, all rock, pretty much any forms of rock. Um, are you asking for like suggestions on music in general? I'm a big, I'm a big The National fan. Yeah, Spaghetti Toucher. I I miss being able to uh, ride Japanese trains all the time. They were like, like the train that I rode to work, um, would come every two minutes. 
during like peak rush hour. And it, it was literally like you'd be walking up the stairs to get to the platform and the train would be coming in. You wouldn't even bother speeding up. Maybe you wouldn't. Because the train would just be there again in like two minutes. It like wasn't worth your time. You're like, you know what? I'll just wait. It's pretty efficient. What is this thing? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that card's real hard to deal with. Oh, boy. Yeah, don't like that. This isn't the Drana that makes... This is the Drana that's... Oh, this is the one that just kills creatures. Yeah. Yeah, she was literal first pick bomb in the format, so I have no idea if it's going to be as good. But I can I have to imagine. They only have three mana, so they can neg three something, which is probably what they're going to do in my Cathodian right now. And then what, attack for seven. What are we going to do with the three mana we get? Uh, watch it go away, because we don't have crew fix out. And you didn't want to play crew fix. I did not. Out of mind, out of reach, somewhere in Vaseline. You know be good right here? Tell me. Chupacabra. You're right. You're shockingly correct. Alright, let's get in there. Kurt, how did you learn Japanese? I just got a subscription to Native Shark and really like it. So... Uh, I've taken Japanese in high school, college, um, and I take Japanese lessons still. I also lived in Japan for a couple of years. The problem is that I'm really lazy, and, uh, yeah. So my Japanese is not nearly as good as it should be for someone who's taken Japanese as long as I have. Side note, did you guys see that 72% of the standard metagame in Grand Finals was Omnath decks? I feel like every pack of uh, Mystery Booster should come with an Omnath. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm sure that would be good for everyone. Is that ASMR -y? when I when I pull open this Velcro thing? Do it slower. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they didn't do anything. I wonder if they're going to block your uh, Get Rug monster. I don't know what they would block it with, though. One, two, three, four, five. Probably your mama. That might work. Got him. The problem is we have most of our good creatures on the board or in our hand. Always yes, always yield. A total defense of the heart. Turn around, right us. Wait, that was the card we took, uh, pack one, pick one, right? Yeah. Is it going to get us out of this? I don't know, man. I don't know. If they Do they triple block? No, because then our defense doesn't trigger. And they get a bunch of shitty dudes off the board. Wait, did you attack or not? No. can't imagine they've tacked to Drana. They'll probably just nix your 4-4. Four, four. Oh, wow. Hmm. 4, 5, 6. Sure. You cannot play this card and not sing the song I tried and I failed before. Wait, what card? Defense of the Heart? Oh, no, 100%. 100%. Oko lasted 45 days in standard. Might need to wait this one out a bit. Yeah, we still got another four weeks of Omnath, guys. You know what they should do is they should bring back Eldrazi and see... Uh... Jesus Christ, just bring Thought Not Seer and Reality Smasher back. They can have, like, the standard season of all the cards they banned. Those are my finest hours in Magic. 
Turn around. This is a hell of a mulligan to five. They're getting it done. Yeah. I don't understand. Why are they like, what are they doing? Are they not just going to like... Minus? Every deck was playing Bone Crusher Dragon except for Demir Rogues. That's insane. I don't know what they're going to do, actually. This is a weird attack, because they let us block with the 4-4. Four four. It seems like they're just going to, like, nag 4 your guy. Well, if they do that, then we just get to eat this. And we only take 4, which is fine. And then we get to Defense of the Heart, and they're tapped out. Hmm. So, either way... Wait, are they like, going to try and kill your Gid Rock? No, they don't have enough for that. They don't have enough. If they try to kill one of their other guys, then they lose Drana. And they lose something else. So they go down, like, one creature... But they're tapped out. This is actually terrible for them. They're dead, right? Because they we they they go to eight, and we just have to find two creatures with four power. You done messed up, AA Ron. Yeah, that's that's really good for us. Uh, as long as they control three or more creatures. Oh no, they don't have haste though, so that's that's a thing, I guess. Um, does it matter? Oh, we can get, like... Let's see what we can get here. Oh, we can Mana War and bounce the Drana and then get, like, Panglacial Worm or something? Yeah, because we, we died to Drana if we don't get rid of it this turn. So it's definitely got to be Mana War. And then, like, probably 7-7? Seven, seven? Mm. Do you even have to cast that? No, they just come into play. Oh. What? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Defensive Art. Oh my gosh. Put him on the battlefield. So it's either Sandworm or Panglacial Worm. Well, if you cast the Panglacial Worm, you won't be able to cast it from your library while searching. It's true. Wait, can we can we cast it from the library now while searching? Uh, if we had one more mana, yes. How, how would you activate that, though? Like, right now, I guess you can click on it. I don't want to risk... Oh, it says cast. That's so weird. That's funny. Yeah, let's get Sandworm. I, I like Sandworm better than Panglacial Worm because A, it's a 5 power, it's a 5 toughness mm -hmm. and B, it limits their Agni Warp is pretty decent. Can I give you your my, my best mic impression? What would a mic impression be? I have no idea. Does he need three or two? Three, huh? Okay. I mean, this actually definitely put us back in the in the driver's seat here. And also, like, uh, creatures can be blocked by creatures who are two or less. So we can actually just make this negative two, negative, negative three, negative zero. So it can't block, and then they have to block with Drana. Or they mm -hmm. die. Mm-hmm. Totally Wait, Mike left for work at 6 a.m. and he's still at work? He does. He's doing 12-hour shifts. Oh. He's choosing to do it. Fact of the day number one. In 2013, haagen -Dazs put QR codes on their ice cream tubs so that you could watch an augmented reality classical music performance while your ice cream reached the perfect temp. What? Really? In 2013? Turn around, brightest. Ew. Rita's number two. In the early 2010s, a team of 80 spider handlers milked 1.2 million golden orb web spiders over three years in order to make a scarf from their silk. More like a scarf from their milk. <laughs> Am I right? Got him. Yeah. <laughs> the milk. I think, just, I think we're just alphaing here, right? If they, could, if they go with block here block here they take six so we actually have to prevent this oh actually we're just gonna agony warp like let's not yeah uh negative three and kill this thing sure there's a there's a nomenclature question is it Kerr mike or mike wit yeah because even if they go block here block here they still take or Block here. Yeah, this is fine. I wonder if they had, like, a machine to milk the spiders. 
You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Who can say? Mm. I bet the spider handler's good. We won this game. That game felt like it took a long time. It did take a long time. It took it. My whole life is over now. What were you saying about a machine to milk the spiders? Yeah. I was wondering if there was a machine to milk the spiders. Well, that's wild. It's a good question, no beats. That's, why be, why be a spider handler if you aren't willing to manually milk spiders? John, can you tell me when you're going to announce the next thing you guys are working on? Is that a thing you could do? Probably not. I'm always asking you for info. I'm always trying to get John in trouble. Who's John? Bear Man Man. Oh. This hand would be great if I had a, a forest. I'm going to mulligan us. You got the forest. It's true. It's true. It did get the forest. I have no idea. Years out probably. God damn it. I'm tempted to cycle this guy. Could work. I might. I mean, especially if they don't do anything. Well, even if they do. Because I have no other options, so. Get that grazing glade heart out there. I'm going to. Are you yelling at me? Graze that glade heart. Turn around, glade heart. Yeah, this card's pretty bananas. Like, oh, you got three creatures? Let me tutor up two creatures and play them for free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like a more broken... Uh... <laughs> it's on my other monitor right now, though. I'll make my monitor just kiss for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's great, because uh, for all of those watching at home, me on one monitor and John working on whatever he's working on over at Rockstar, we just kissed. So, uh... I, I have now been closer, virtually closer, to whatever their next project is than anyone else. So I don't really, you know. It's probably Grand Theft Horse. Be jealous, I guess. That already came out. Grand Theft Horse? Yeah. It literally came out last year. It was Red Dead Redemption. Turn around, lady boy. Dang, I was really hoping to block. That was stupid. L.A. Noir 2. Oh, I would. That, that's all I want. I really hope you just kissed L.A. Noir 2. Boy, me, you and me both, buddy. That's all I want to do. Grand Theft Spaceship. Grand Funk Railroad. Grand Theft Funk. You have no idea how much I want L.A. Noir 2. For PS5. Oh, God. Or, you know, Xbox. What about a Grand Larceny game? That's literally Grand Theft Auto. Every game you're mentioning is... I think Grand Larceny is stealing money. <laughs> I mean, you could still... There's still tons of missions where you rob banks and stuff in the game. What about, like, a white-collar crime GTA game? Where you're just sitting at a desk, typing stuff into a computer? I would deal two damage to a creature. Oh, that's sad. Wait, what happened? Oh! Wow, they messed up! Man, deals combat damage will play. You may have a deal two damage to a target creature. That's not what you want to do. They attacked me with it, and then they flipped it up post combat. Oh, they were supposed to flip it before. <laughs> that's right. Wow, that's no bueno. You done messed up, AA Ron. You did done mess up. I'm not going to attack here because if they. Uh... If they have a way to kill the creature I don't attack with, then we just lose the other guy. What about, like, a, a Rockstar game where you just, like, run a laundromat? That's it. What do you think, Frank? Yeah, I think the laundromat... Yeah, see, this is exactly what we're afraid of. I think the laundromat game has a lot of potential. Yeah, we're just trading. Rockstar Table Tennis 2. <laughs> Is that a game? Didn't did they have a table tennis game? No. This doesn't do It feels like one of those like uh joke games or something they would put out or Ooh. 
What was the context around them releasing the uh, table tennis game? I have no idea what you guys are talking about right now. Rockstar Chess Simulator 5? Got it. I think <laughs> the first four Rockstar Chess Simulators are really good. So I'd really look forward to seeing the next one. Did I ever show you that Super Nintendo game I have that's just you working in an office building? No. It's like this Japanese game. Of course it is. Called Japanese s love, love simulating boring things. It's, like. it's called Super Business Adventure. Oh, bathroom simulator. Do your hair. Actually, I did have one video game that was a life simulator, and you can lose your job and have to clean bathrooms. That sounds really good. Yeah, I feel like all tennis games were on the Wii. So if we draw a land, we can play Archetype. Yeah, Japanese dating simulators are super weird. Actually, there was this one RPG that some company put out for PlayStation called... I want to say Thousand Arms? Where, like... It was like just like a straight-up RPG... But to get new weapons, you had to go on dates. And the power of the weapon was based off of how well the date went. This is very strange. Oh, yeah. No beans. Like, what about Thousand Arms? <laughs> I actually have a copy of that somewhere in storage. Oh, boy. What's it? Super Nintendo, you said? What, were they a thousand arms? Yeah. No, it was PlayStation. Wow. PlayStation, like PS, PS1? Yeah. This guy's got hexproof, man. They put out some weird PlayStation games. Like, there was, we, uh, my one friend had this PlayStation game called, uh, um, like, Roast Meat Shop, where you would just, like, throw meat on a grill, and you would have to flip it over at the right time, <sighs> Boy. and then feed it to people. It actually had multiplayer. Because <laughs> of course it did. Man, all these these I'm like getting emails for like watch sales now. It's like I'm just blocking this guy. If they want to trade Corsair or uh, Tireless Tracker for this guy, that's totally fine. BS4. B. I don't understand. PlayStation. What is this? We could have we could have picked that. It was in one of our packs. No, it was not. It was. Don't lie. It was totally in one of our packs. But you weren't picking any red cards. You don't know me. Is there any each cup keep? Fuck, that's a that's unbeatable, man. Jesus. I mean, I guess we get to defense here, but that seems friggin' bananas. The base station? I feel like people would like the base station. <laughs> Jesus. I can't have this conversation anymore with you guys. It just hurts too much, you know? Dude, while he's stretching out. Is this a joke, dude? <laughs> oh, fucking hilarious. Oh, Jesus. So I, like, I like lay down on the floor, and, like, I have my arm out, and he just, like, basically comes around and then sticks his head under my uh, my hand. He's so cute. Like, he's such a wholesome little dude. Well, all of these guys have float, so... I guess we gotta see what we can get with Defense of the Heart. Boo. I wish I had two Ravenous Chupacabras in my deck. Dude, that'd be sweet. Can you get duplicates? You should be able to, right? Like, hypothetically? Yeah. I, yeah, I imagine you probably can. I don't know if we can actually win here. This is pretty bad. Noxious Dragon. You can bounce something with Mana War. Karthus gives haste, though, and he has haste, so, like... Not great, Bob. That's true. Not great, Bob! 
I mean, I'm leaning towards Noxious Dragon and Ran Ephemeron, but, like, I think we're still pretty dead here. This format's really powerful. Yeah. That would... I guess we can draw a removal spell. True. Hey, buddy. You want to come up here? Is that what you want? Come on. You're not going to come up? He doesn't want to jump up. Oh, there's old Giddy. One, two, and then we have three. They get another dragon that has haste. Yeah, we're just dead here. That's pretty insane. You want to come up? Is that what you want? Is that game one? <laughs> this is the picture I took of Wally. Look at those little legs. <laughs> Oh, boy. That was game two. We won the first game. Oh, sweet. It's like you're not even paying attention. It's like that. You're basically like Michael B. 2.0. They did want me to do a Michael B. impression. Which is an improvement. So. You want them scritches, don't you? Buddy, you know he do. Oh my god, he's he's having a he's, he's not liking this. He needs his legs. He needs his, he's come here, bud. Come here, come here. <laughs> what? What? I got you. I got you. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You okay? You get scared? I don't know. Kerwood didn't know how to pick up a dog. He was like holding a <laughs> baby, real awkward. OP's thinking long and hard about this. Pretty sure the tokens have flying text on them. There's no way they make dragons that don't fly, right? Am I just... Do, do I just really punt? I don't know. I'll keep this because our odds of hitting a green are pretty high. Start pumping out them elves. <laughs> Oh, we did it. Well, wow, turn three appears yeah. perfect. I haven't seen much removal out of the deck either, so. What up, Kers702? I checked. I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm like, it doesn't make sense for them to make dragons that don't fly. They're just rocks that look like dragons. <laughs> well, even rocks fly, though. Wait, are you talking about rock as in, like, a geological rock or as in, like, a rock as in, like, a bird? No. The geological rock. Oh. Why would it? You know what? Never mind. Don't ask questions. Don't kill you don't it. Know the answer oh, to. yeah, they didn't do shit. Skulk? What is Skulk? It's some weird ass ability. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Can't block creatures power greater, so. You boo. know. You know how it do. Are you saying boo urns? I was saying boo urns. Wallace Ray, what are you doing? He's giving me the stink eye. That's what he's doing. Yeah, he gets real scared if his legs aren't. Like, if he doesn't have a, a, a solid footing on, on something. Right, Chief? That is true. If a rock picks up a rock, then it's a flying rock. <laughs> it's also a rock rock. Hunter just took the dog bed. <laughs> yeah, this is Wallace. You guys have probably seen him before. He's one of my favorites. He's He, he is the most pure of heart dog that I've ever seen. He's wonderful. And Hunter took the dog bed, like I said, so... So we're going to start pumping out elves? Is that the plan? Buddy, you know we are. Like some kind of elf factory? Oh, pestilence. That's interesting. This is the second match in a row I've had to deal with a pestilence. Like CNC elf factory? Mm-hmm. You know them? Yeah. Yeah? Had a string of uh, great dance hits in the 80s. Buddy, you know it. Dude, attack the pestilence. Fuck, I wish. I mean, now they just Pestilence for two, which is pretty obnoxious. Yeah. Of course, the one game we get Imperius Perfect is the one game they get Pestilence. Because otherwise, it'd be completely unfair. 
I thought Jat was one of your favorites. I can have more than one favorite, you know. They are going to make you sweat till you bleed. The second gen system would be the Bay Twice. <laughs> is that, what's that a reference to? I don't know, but it sounds funny. Okay. I really want this Speedmaster with the white dial, but it's the same price as a... As a... As a Rolex Daytona. So... Or a nice Toyota Corolla. <laughs> it's probably more than a Toyota Corolla, to be honest with you. Chat, Michael has a question. Can you guys text Michael with the answer? His question is, I have a very important question. What should I name a mono green control deck I am brewing for Commander? Must involve a meme. Can you guys text him on his phone number and uh, and tell him what he should name his commander deck? You want to get down? Or you want to use the? Oh, did you do little yawns? Okay. Who is the commander? I don't know. You guys are gonna have to message him and ask. Data rates may apply. Look, they're going to get in there with this one guy. Because they know they're they're going to wipe the board next turn. No one asked for Mike's digits in the chat, so I'm really wondering if... Uh, I'm really wondering if you guys are taking this text Mike seriously. I don't feel like they are. No. No. What are you doing, buddy? Okay, one to everything. You got it. We need that split second card that destroys enchantments. Two to everything. You got it. Oh, they're just going to keep it around? Okay. Oh, it's Panty Boy! You know, old Panty Boy. Split second card. Old Panty Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Is that the one? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Panty Boy! The pipes, the pipes are coming. Don't need digits if you got Mike on speed dial. Mm -hmm. Yes, we didn't create an elf in response. Would that have... No. That wouldn't have done anything. You would have to create the elf before, and then he would have to <laughs> respond. Oh, boy. I'm like, wait a minute, would that have done something? And the answer was no. No, you'd, you'd get an elf and it would die. Yeah, that's true. Correct. Oh, well, shit, yeah. Yeah, that's all I thought. You just want to see him die, that's all. Well, I'm just going to kill this thing next turn. Oh, and if they put a counter on it, then we make a snake? Ooh, snap! They's going to get it. They is going to get it. Wallace, are you having fun here or do you want to get down? I can't tell. He looks like he's having fun. He's the purest gentleman in the world. Are you going to play, uh... I'm actually tempted to Agony Warp here. Hmm. I mean, there's no way he blocks with the tireless tracker, right? Maybe. Probably not, right? I told him to name it Castle Garenbrig, and he was like, "What? does he really not get it? Call it glass pies. Oh, he did blog with it. This is very this is very strange. Um, so now we can go power and toughness. Alright, I'm gonna put you down, Chief. Okay. There you go, little bud. He's the purest little dog. And now we can play uh <laughs> Pan Glacial Worm. <laughs> Well, not this turn, but... Next turn. Yeah. 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 And then I'll have five Pestilences. Pestili? Yeah. It's okay. You got a 1-3. Sounds good. Okay. Your move. It's too bad he had to use his black mana to do that, because then he could have... Uh... 
then it could have pestilence for two. Yeah. But then it would die because it's true. There would be no creatures on the B field. Well, yep. they don't. They only have three swamps, so this guy ain't gonna die to pestilence. That's for sure. Got to watch out for the B field. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go to the doctor and get my B-field checked out, if you know what I mean. Uh-oh. What do we got here? Ooh. He's gonna blow up that sprouting Thrinax to get the 3-1 one ones. Okay. Oh, it's old Husky Boy? Then he's gonna... That's an interesting play. So if he attacks with that, he can sack the Thrinex and then all three of the tokens. So he just goes make this a 4-4 four, four block. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I mean, you could kill the Nantuko Husk. I think I'm just attacking here. I mean, if they want to block and go sack this and a token, that's fine. If they block here, it's just a one for one, and I'll probably just corpse hatch this guy. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. One, two, three, four, five. If we had one more land, we could actually corpse hatch, sack the two Eldrazi, and then play Armasaur, which would be great. But... Because of that, I'm probably just playing eh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably just playing right at the serpent on this guy. It's... Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> Pan glaciole worm. So you many... can't corpse hatch Nantuko husk, right? Yeah, you can. Oh no, you can't. You're right. That's a good point. I guess I don't have the option. So it's either right or just play Worm here. I think we just play Worm here. What is this? Two, four, six, eight? Yeah, that's fine. If he wants to throw it away. Well, also I could just kill the Nantuko Hus next turn and attack with the Worm, and it's a 9-5, so... Yeah. Oh, what up, JD? Oh, what up, Tireless Tractor? Are you referring to yourself in the game? Jesus, this Karthus Tyrant of Jund is so ridiculous. Yep, just block here and trade, and then we can right of the serpent this guy. I'm glad we didn't write this guy, because this is a little more important. Yeah. Karthus is black, right? Yeah. Oh, he is going to try and kill you, kill your guy? Yeah, I mean, I figured. You just sacrifice two one ones to do it, so. Yeah. Meh. Nah. Oh, man, it's too bad we can't kill that one one and get rid of his pestilence. That would be nice. What is this? Come on, dude. Cool. Sha -na -na -na. Must be nice. Well, that was fun. I'm having a good time. Just kidding. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, my matchmaking failed. I'm I'm clearly a terrible matchmaker. What should we do for dinner today? I don't know. That's what I was trying to figure out in the chat. But, like, Mike is just like, I suggest we go somewhere and get food, and then we do something cool. And I'm <laughs> like, okay, that's a great idea. And I figured that's what we were doing. But, you know, that doesn't actually help us with any... That's not a real suggestion, so...
I gotta go jump into a work thing for a second. Oh, wow. That's cool. He's just gonna leave me hanging. Sorry. See you later, nerd. He doesn't have a work thing. He's gonna go take a nap. That's work. Oh. Uh, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Naps are definitely not work, buddy. They are pure enjoyment. Alright, now it's just me. Uh, I think we can cycle Sandworm. Was that just it? Just it just manifests and gives it a counter. Sure. I mean, I think making a two-two on the board is just better than playing defense of the heart here. So, plus next turn we can play defense and make another two-two. And they also likely won't expect snapping sail back if we're keeping mana up to make two twos. So. Oh, we just win the game. Huh. I don't personally understand it, but alright. I accept. Um, yeah, Imperius Perfect is, uh, pretty much a banger. So. Oh, <laughs> D-Tutor? Wow. Gotta figure out what we want to get with that thing. I feel like it's in our best interest to get something now. I think we can wait. You just said it was in our best interest to get something now. Yeah, but that's fine. You got it. Sailor of Memes. Oh, Man of War. Your favorite and mine. If we draw blue next turn, being able to go Man of War into Make a Guy is pretty good. I think they're just going to kill it this time. No, not yet. Oh, adding a red. Still not yet. X damage target creature. That We draw X cards. That seems good. Well, we can just kill Nin next turn. And if they want to make us draw two, that seems just fine. Interesting. So they can actually kill their own Sailor, right? So they need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They got it. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. I mean, drawing six here is pretty insane. I guess they have nothing on board? Yeah, alright. What are you gonna do? What? 
Really? I was not expecting that. So Nin is... Shields are down? I would have definitely just shot this guy for, for four, drawn four cards. That's interesting. Do we have a better card we can get with Demonic Tutor? I don't think so. I think that's most of our removal. Yeah, this has got to go. Like, they have one card in hand, and that's kind of their engine, so. Ho! Ho ho! Ho ho! That's pretty good. We can also use the mana to make a guy next turn and then sack the land we use to make the guy, so. That's similar. Where you gotta go? It's Thursday, buddy. This is unbelievable. Oh, finally. That's nice. Two, three. I'm gonna get an Agony Warp, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Still can't cast the other dude. And then we're gonna get in there with this guy. Just taking it, fascinating. Just bounce Tadiova, she's a five drop. Hey little butt. What's going on? And we win the match. Alright, that was these games have been going quick though.
<laughs> uh, this hand's pretty rough. We do have three, four. I'm going to keep it. We have Demonic Tutor at worst for turn three land. I don't love it, but it does let us play our things. And we are playing 18 lands, so. Hmm. It's been a pleasure, but it's gym time for me. I gotta prepare to beat the PB from last weekend. What's PB? Uh, I'm just gonna get a land here. I'm gonna get an island, actually, because I feel like our odds of drawing a forest are much higher. Personal best? Badger, I hope you do it. If you post it on Facebook, I'm sure I'll definitely come across it. Nice. Nailed it. See, now we got a game. Man, how do multiple people know, multiple people know what personal best is? Well, that's pretty good. But, I mean, we're just going to keep churning out guys. And, like, whatever they have next turn, we mana war it, and then we attack for seven. I will post it only if I succeed. That's fair. Again, we get to go snapping sail back into Mana Whirler guy. Gitrog is actually just Gortig spelled backwards, which isn't even a real word. This is wild. I'm just going to let this go, even though we do have... It would help us cast our, our, sail, our sail back, but... Ain't no snap and sail back. In hindsight, maybe Mana War is just best. It forces them to replay this. They don't get the option to block. Okay, good. They didn't block anyway. It was a Marsh Hulk. Well, well, well. Marsh Hulk, Marsh Hulk, Marsh Hulk. Sure. Well, oh, we tapped wrong. Dang it. Well, they only have four turns, so that's good. Hmm. Okay, Marsh Hulk again. Six. This is seven mana. So next turn we do get to... The problem is they're going to block here. But... 
Negative three power, negative three. I mean, it forces them to block or go to two. Which is actually pretty decent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They had nine permanents as well, so they were so close to the city's blessing. They're at three. They get three turns to win, so... Or else they have to destroy... <laughs> oh, Nixie, Nixie, Nix. You little, you little scamp, you. Sanger Vampire. That guy's good. Well, that sucks. This card is terrible in the late game. <sighs> yep. That's really good. Wow. Tower creature, stuck from a sacrifice to creature, sure. Kids. Is this the deck with lightning helix in it? <laughs> I mean, next turn we do get to play Archety Archetype of Endurance. Archetype of Endurance. Sure. You would like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Solid. This guy is just doing some work here. No type will ever be archetype. All right. You know what's funny? It's almost better to kill the stupid Nyx Fleece Ram here. I think we're going to go archetype because we can take another hit. But the thing is, like, if they don't play another guy, they're going to attack, and then we get to attack with the archetype, and it has hexproof. And being able to kill, like, if they if they play another guy, then we get to crack defense, which is pretty huge. So, you know. Oh, what up, Kabbalan? Buttering intensifies. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. I mean, that was pretty good. Wow.
They have seven cards, like... Sure. It's pretty good. <sighs> I mean, the thing is, if we, if we righted, um, then we maybe would have lost to... We would have lost this guy, you know, and that's not... But now they have to play a third guy. Okay, well. Third guy or bust. Can you explain the difference between this and Chaos Draft? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I, I actually was equating this to Chaos Draft in terms of how it was going to play out. Um, these, these, these... Mystery Booster is curated... So it's literally, I think, I'm pretty sure it's like they, they put deliberate cards in here, you know? Okay. Are they just going wide here? It's really sad our mana war is in the graveyard, but we can get Noxious Dragon. Um Huh. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can just get like Noxious Dragon Gitrog Monster. It actually seems really good. I went wide once. Freshman fifteen is real. <laughs> oh boy. Um, we got a 4-3 lifelinker, two flyers, you have two flyers, that's worth keeping in mind. You guys have hexproof? That's pretty good. And it's definitely Noxious Dragon, because it kills either one of these three things, or this even. We also get to draw a card this turn. I think we just want the multiple flyers that have hexproof and don't give it an F. <clears throat> okay, so I don't want to attack here because then they just block, they gain four, and then we just lose our guy. I think we're just passing here. Well, we can only play one land a turn, so I kind of actually want to just play this, just in case. Actually, if we draw a glazing, Grazing Glade Heart, I think I'd rather keep it. Because if we have one land in hand, it's fine. Like, Kerwood has returned. Or he's going to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, is Noxious Dragon only creatures? Oh, it does not kill... This is very interesting. I don't know what's happening right now. I mean, they might just have a wrath effect. That's what I'm assuming, which sucks, but... <laughs> Brian, you want me to get you a drink? No, I'm good. Okay. I still got two... Half drinks here. That's a whole drink. I know, right? Okay. I have no idea what they played. Deadly Tempest. Does our creatures play those life limited creatures? They were just, yeah, sure. Go to one. That was fun. Did I get it? Yeah. What's up, buddy? I just learned that vaping can deliver toxic metals into your lungs. Guess I'll take the cigarettes. 
Yeah, those are better. Yeah. Is, is the same deck? Yeah. What did they get back? Dusk? Oh, they returned. Yeah, sure. Uh, always yield. There's never a reason not to put a counter on this. <laughs> yep. Cool. Seems good. Must be nice to draw every single card you need because you've drawn two cards every turn. You've drawn ten more cards than us, but yeah. Chat, you should or uh, Frank, you should uh, you should talk like a 1950s radio uh, DJ. Do you think they had DJs in the 1950s? Oh, they had those guys on the radio. Those guys. Hey, everybody out there in Chadland. Jesus Christ! Oh boy. Frank Lepore here. Hey guys, we're uh, still looking at some watches over here on the right screen. You guys can't see them because you suck. Bringing you all the magic you need. And all the magic you don't need. Magic. We do need more cowbell. Do you not have like a cowbell? You should get a cowbell for your... Uh... Disagree. Hard to disagree. Yeah. <laughs> she said, yeah. Is that right? You hard to disagree with that? All right. I understand. It is what it is. And what it is, is cowbell. Dude, you live really close to a public storage. Just think of all that stuff you could store in there. I think about it every day. What do you think I dream about? Big five sporting goods? Only sometimes. <clears throat> the Spice 8 Asian Kitchen? I've never been there, actually. It's got 4.1 stars. How many stars do you have? All of them. Well, we missed the land drop. Not ideal. But that's okay. You roll with the land punches. Thank you. Is that Big Lou? I thought it was hilarious when Mike got a card wrong and you called him a stupid piece of shit. <laughs> it's now a term of endearment between my friends and I. A, thank you for the resub. And B, Mike is wonderful. And I love him a lot. And I hope everyone knows that that was just a joke and it was supposed to be funny based on how, uh, let's say, accentuated it was. <laughs> that stupid piece of shit. What do you think of this place? Cherry Cricket? I don't know. I've never even heard of that place. Let's see if they got... Uh, it takes 54 minutes to get there by bus, it looks like, so... We could take a bus. I don't think we're going to do what that. What if we just rented a whole bus and drove over there? I don't want to do that in COVID times. Wow, just can't hit land drops, I guess. Okay. Seems good. Dude, they have a they have a veggie basket you could eat. That's all I want is a basket full of veggies. Ooh, they got an impossible veggie burger. That seems impossible. They also have a chickpea burger. Me fail English? That's impossible. <clears throat> Do you know who that is? Uh, that would be Ralph Wiggum. That's right. Is it just Agony Warp here? Kill this. 
neuter this. They skipped right over the implausible burger. Very ambitious. Yeah, you know how they do. Katie, I we have a return label that we have to use to ship a monitor back. And Katie was like, do I need to print the label? And I'm like, we have a printer. Like, I think she was asking if she had a printer at work. And I'm like, but printer. You actually have a printer? Yeah, it's downstairs. Wow. I never did before. And then she had one and it was really nice. And I was like. Wait, so it's her printer? Yeah. And she was thinking she had to print it at work? That's what I'm wondering. I'm like, is, did I misinterpret? <laughs> I'm gonna look at the stupid guild gig. Oh, you oh, stupid so guild gig piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Land. Oh, you... <laughs> That's... I'm, I'm pretty funny. I'm a funny guy. Let's, uh... Let's not forget it. Man, Agony Warp is so good. I mean, this guy's real good, too. This 4-4 double striking piece of junk, but... Land? No, that would be, that would be really good. Because we could go Yavamite, we can go Constrictor into Shepherd into Search for two more lands. Boy, man, that would have been. Yeah, we'll just play Sap Herd. I said Shepherd, but it's really Sap Herd. Like the Sap Herd around the world. This doesn't have reach, right? Gotta watch out for that Sap. You do. I always watch out for the Sap. God. You're out of control. Push it to the limit. Oh, wow, that's real good. Get him. This is Kerwitz's commentary. He's just like, I'm just going to say things that sound like they might be a adequate, might be, might be uh, <clears throat> part of the game. You know it. I do indeed know it. Ooh, this place looks good, too. Well, it's only turn nine, and we've missed five land drops. So, you know. If we lose, it's not because our opponent had two 4-4 four, four double strikers. It's definitely because of the five missed land drops. What can you do? Mattress firm. <clears throat> Uh, let's do blockies. <laughs> sure. Feels Batman. Swamp would be great, because then we get to corpse hatch something, this, make two blockers, we get more lands for Right of the Serpent, or like any of the other fat idiots. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Never mind. Is that a Boo Earns? It was a definitely a Boo Earns. What are your feelings about black bean quinoa patties? I that sounds terrible. Yeah. I don't like black bean burgers because the pro, the flavor profile is completely different, so it doesn't satisfy me the way a burger would. It makes me feel like I'm eating like like a Mexican meal with like ketchup and mustard, and it's kind of weird to me. Yeah. Yep. See, this burger place, this other burger place looks super good, but they only have, like, that weird quinoa patty. No, that's weird. Get out of here with that. I'm sure we can find another place. I know, but this place looks delicious. Which one is it? This is, uh... The 52080 bar. I don't or know what that is. Okay, they're just killing. Okay, I'm just gonna concede here. Look at that burger. Thank you guys for watching. I think that was round three, right? We went one, one, two here. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash com. Cool stuff, Inc. And uh, nordvpn.org slash franklapore. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.